Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix the error the memory could not be written in Windows machine. This error can randomly occur in different situations such as restarting or turning off your PC or launching an application, etc. It can appear due to several reasons including low memory resources, driver issues, faulty memory modules or third-party applications. Now, there are a couple of steps which you could try to get this issue resolved. Now, the first step is to go ahead and uh, close all the applications and try to restart your computer and check if you get this error message and the next step what I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to go ahead and repair corrupt app or game files so if you get this error message when you're launching an application or closing any particular applications you may go ahead and try to repair that particular app to do this you can do a right click on the start button and then click on settings once you're on the settings you may go ahead and click on app and then click on installed apps go to the respective apps uh, where you're getting this error message for the demonstration I'm going to pick the app which says uh, one of the game which is being currently installed click on the three dotted lines and click on advanced option scroll down on this and choose the option which says repair and then check if you are getting this error message in case if this issue has been resolved well and good you don't have to try the next step the next step uh, what I would suggest you to do is repair system files on the computer to do this you will have to open the command prompt on your computer so in the search window you may go ahead and type command prompt do a right click and choose the option which says run as administrator in case if you get a user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue on the screen now once you have the command prompt you will have to go ahead and type the command which says sfc space forward slash scan now and hit enter this will execute this command into couple of phases once all the verification process is complete you should be able to repair the system files on the computer once the sfc scan is complete you would see the message which says windows resource protection did not find any integrity violation in case um, if you see any integration violation what you could also do is you could try to run a DISM with the restore health command on your computer to do this you can copy and paste the command from my video description to run the restore health command all you need to do is you need to copy the command and do a right click on the command prompt that should paste the command in the command prompt once you have this command hit enter with this it would start to execute the restore health command on your computer and uh, you would see a message saying that this operation has been completed successfully so it might take about uh, 5 to 15 minutes depending on the speed of the computer or the amount of data what you have on the computer once the DISM tool has been successfully executed you would see the message which says the restore operation completed successfully with this you can go ahead and close the command prompt window and check if you're getting this error message in case if you're not getting this error message well and good uh, you're good to go now, in spite of this if you're still seeing the error message message the next step what I would suggest you to do is to run a memory diagnostic check to do this you will have to open the run window so you can do a right click on the start button and then click on run in the run window you may go ahead and type the command mdschedexe which is a command to run the memory diagnostic check you may click on ok you would get a prompt saying that uh, check your computer for memory problems now to run the memory diagnostic check you will have to choose the option which says restart now and check for the problems which is recommended now with this make sure you save all the work or the applications which are currently open on the computer once this is done your computer would restart after running the memory diagnostic check and post that see if you're getting this any error message in case if you're not seeing any error message well and good you don't need to try the next step now the next step what I would suggest you to do is to perform a clean boot on the computer to do this what you need to do is you need to open the run window so you can do a right click on the start button button and then click on run in the run window you may go ahead and type ms config and click on ok in case if you get a user access control prompt you may go ahead and click on yes or continue on the screen now here you will have to choose the option which says selective startup once you choose the selective startup you will have to go to the tab which says services check the box which says hide all microsoft services and click on disable all and then go to the startup tab and disable all the third-party applications so 
basically what you're doing here with the clean boot is you're trying to disable all the third party applications which are associated or which are running on the computer so you may go ahead and choose all the third party applications and disable those third party applications especially if you have any services which are running in the background once this is done you will have to go ahead and restart the computer and check if you are any uh, seeing any error message now in case if you're if you're not seeing the error message it is an indication that it could be an issue with the third party application you might want to identify what application is causing a problem now in spite of this if you are still facing a problem the next step what i would suggest you to do is to repair the dotnet framework on your computer to do this you will have to run a tool to repair dotnet framework so you can open the browser in the new browser if you are you may go to google.com or you can go to bing.com and type dotnet repair tool and with this please make sure that you are running this tool only from the microsoft official website not from any third party website so as soon as you type the uh, search string you will see the search results for microsoft.net framework repair tool i will also mention the link in my video description you can use the link from my video description to make sure you're not downloading it or using it from third party application so click on it it should take you to the .net framework repair tool choose the language preferred language and click on download this should download the repair tool double click on the executable file in case if you get a user access control control prompt you may click on yes or continue on the screen now once on the screen you may go ahead and choose the end users license agreement and click on next this should start detecting an issue you may go ahead and click on next once the changes has been completed you may go ahead and click on finish and then restart your computer and check if you're getting any error message in case if you're not getting an error message well and good you don't need to try the next step so in spite of all this step and if you're still facing a problem the next step what i would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to go ahead and increase the virtual memory on the computer. To do this, what you will have to do is you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on setting. Once you're on the settings, you may go ahead and click on system. On the system page, you can scroll down and click on about and here you may go ahead and click on advanced system settings. Once you're on the advanced system settings, click on advanced tab and then click on settings. Once you're on the settings, go ahead and click on the advanced tab again and here choose the option which says change uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drive and and choose custom size under custom size specify the initial mb or maximum uh, mb for your virtual memory once you have set the virtual memory the initial and the maximum size you may click on ok click on ok again then click on ok close this window restart your computer and that should fix the problem in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem i would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that i can come up with the possible solution i hope this video Video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day